specific, specific evaluations. So we do evaluations of each player, like general things, like it's not technique from one to, to five, it's on each age group. We do like, okay, how does he receive the ball and goes to the goal? He does this too often with quality, never with no quality at all. So we do a scale from one to four in the first week, in the first period, then from one to six. Why from one to four? If it was from one to five, it would be easier for my coaches to put three and they don't make a decision. So I want them to make a decision. Two, it's different than three with four numbers. Or with six, three is different than, than, than four. So and sometimes if I put, this is something that, once again, it's something that you end up like, I never thought about this. And when, when somebody told me this, I was like, definitely I have a lot of threes. So I cut it because of this. So understand where they, how they are and what to improve. Second period, this is in December. March, evaluation with the coaches. And then, according to their evaluation, I will start to be involved. Players that I have big expectations and their evaluation is not that good, I watch the games and I, what's going on? But I'm not questioning the coaches. I will look more to those players. And then, in the next evaluation, then I will also put my opinion on it. So then, we start planning according to this evaluation in March. In December, we know what, where we are fragile. I send this report to the scouting, and the scouting will start to search good players with those characteristics to, be, to see if they are better than the ones I have. Then, in March, we evaluate them. Ours and the other ones are invited to come here. And then, the end of the season, if we have to send somebody home, we send. We try to do that as less as possible. But if we have a player better than ours, we keep him. But it has to be really better than ours. If it's the same level, we are not going to throw away our work. So, the other one never comes in. Okay? We do a lot of shadow teams, which is like the best team that we have. Okay, I have my main squad would be this one. Outside, in my region, what is the best goalkeeper? What is the second best goalkeeper? What is the best right back? What is the second best right, right back? So we do this and also, just some advertising. This will help you doing this thing, but I will, I will give you this what idea. Are you are and so on. Especially uh, the ones that are in our own residential academy. Medical and nutrition, we have a medical department that works also with the pros. So the medical <coughs> department is connected. So they follow the nutrition, they follow the players and so on. The individual development, which is the specific training and that's when you see if you say well but you don't do isolated drills I do if you need it's not for everybody if you need to develop passing I don't mind doing something isolated with no relation to the game because you need it it's not everybody's problem it's the same as the the fitness you do the yo-yo test in the beginning of the season what are you going to do about that are you going to do specific training for each one of them in the next in the next weeks if you're not, so why the hell are you spending time doing the, the train, the fitness? Oh, they, they are very fit. Yeah. And, and do you win games because of that? Are they working good? Is that so important? So, and then the housing and transportation. So we try to reorganize things around the player and not the other way around. Before it would be like, oh, I do, I do it this way. The players have to adapt. No, no, no. The players are the reason we exist. So everything needs to adapt. The place quite okay. similar. Keeping the ball, patience, a lot of movement to the per, to the people that go to the ball. This is a seven seven side game. A lot of movement, creating decoys, things like that. But the players do it because it's not because we tell them you have to pass the ball. They they do it because they learn how to read the game. Nobody's in front of him. Speed up. Nobody's in front of him. Speed up. Easy. So obviously, I'm showing good good plays. We also have crap plays. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it, this is in and again in the 11 aside in 11 aside under 13s these kids uh, this is against the second place in our camp also a first first league team in Portugal Gil Vicente uh, same thing the players keep the ball the players have patience the players understand the moment if is it good to move forward is it not uh, can I use my can I get a shot can, they decide. This is a perfect right back we have. Somebody is trying to steal it from us, but we... For example, big mistake, he was alone, he could attack right away, but he took a lot of time. The opponents were starting to become dead because of our whole possession, so... But everything is done because they understand the game. We, as, you, as you obviously know, we don't practice this, this place. 
This is, they understand the game. So the finishing is quite poor, so it could be better. This would be a good goal, but the finishing was quite poor. Uh, so, now, what I'm, why am I going through this? Because I want you now, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do a practical session. Uh, you'll have this in the end. I'm not going to give you now because if I give you now you become lazy and you will look at the sessions like I know what this guy wants. Oh, I know. I want you to see it differently. So you won't have this. I will give it to you in the questions and answers.